Okay, good morning. I'm going to get started. Apparently snow uh, is causing a little bit of difficulty for people getting here, so hopefully the room will fill up a bit more in time. Uh, we've certainly got a big room to fill with plenty of people, so thank you for making it here on time and getting here as we kick off this session. Um, I'm super excited because today, you know, this is uh, one of our co-located events. My name is Mark Fussell. I'm one of the program co-chairs for App Developer Con. This is actually the third one we're doing. We held this first one this time last year. Then we had one in Europe. This is the third one we're happening. Um, I'm also a Dapper maintainer and the CEO of Diagrid. So welcome. It's great to have you all here today. I'm excited. Um, the reason why we have these and we kicked these things off and we started this whole co-located event um, this time last year was because if you look at the stats that come from CNCF, you know, all of it points to the fact that developers and architects uh, are people who come to an app developer called come to KubeCon. And so we're like, well, we're going to cater to the huge numbers of discussions that we have to have about how we build the actual business applications that want to actually make the company money. So it's great to have lots of infrastructure discussions, but of course, you know, the applications design, you know, the adventure of an architecture, the microservices design, the monoliths, you name it, whatever your architectures are, you know, that's the forum around here. So hopefully we have like-minded people around here. You know, I welcome you to kind of meet each other, kind of have a chat and, you know, sort of talk about what your, you know, favorite application development techniques are and things. I'm kind of, uh, I want to thank the event committee. We had a pretty large event committee this time. We had 10 people in total. We had the largest number of submissions ever, so the program continues to grow. Um, it's great to see such high quality and high quantity of them all. Uh, I particularly want to thank uh, Nainya Singh and Evan Anderson, who's somewhere in here as well, if he's got his hand up, um, who were also my co-chairs. We were the ones who sat down and sort of went through all of the CFP reviews, and uh, it's a long and arduous process, but it's kind of fun because you kind of get a really good spectrum of like what people are thinking about, what they care about, and the understanding of what's happening inside the industry. So, you know, it's really good to diverse to see sort of the range of different types of technologies, but pros and things like this. Now, you know, it's a it's an interesting space app developer con because although there's a set of CNCF technologies, and you know, and that's the sort of this top grouping here that we try to focus on and we bring inside here as part of these talks, we recognize that you know, application development is far beyond just CNCF. You know, it has a whole bunch of languages, we've got frameworks, uh, we've got uh, development tools, you know, all as part of that category. So we kind of try to intermingle some of those, you know, but consciously the fact that you know, we're still a CNCF conference, we're still trying to focus on those type of technologies. So if you do submit something to App Developer Con, you know, this is sort of technology to sort of focus on, but you know, we don't want to exclusively be part of that. We recognize there's a huge ri ri rise of sort of AI that we're going to incorporate as part of this as well. So I'm pretty excited about the sessions. We've got a huge, great lineup today, all sorts of different um, talks that range across all those different types of technologies. You know, um, we brought a bit of AI inside there. We've got a bit of dev tools. Uh, we've got a bit of end user case studies. I do want to sort of highlight this particular talk here, which is the intro to the app development group. You know, we're also working closely inside the CNCF to you know, elevate application development as a whole inside the CNCF organization. And leading this is the working group called the App, Developer Con, uh, app Development Working Group as part of the App um, Delivery Charter. And so they're working to kind of make sure there's a voice for application development inside CNCF. So if you're interested in it all, come to that talk and you know, we'll dive into it a bit more. But such a great range of talks today. I'm super excited about them all. But I thought we'd do a little, a little bit of um, engagement first to figure out, you know, what, um, you know, what, who we have inside the audience. So I'm going to do a little bit of a poll. So if you've got a laptop or a phone or something like this, let's me switch out here and let me see if we can do a little bit of poll. So the first thing I'm going to ask you, I'm going to put this out here, is which programming language do you use the most in development? So if you go to either this QR code here, you can scan, hopefully on your phone, or if you go to pollev.com slash Mark F199. Um, I'm going to be super interested. Uh, now, I practiced this poll last night. Hopefully, you can get to it all. And so let's see now who we have in the audience um, and you know, which one of these languages comes out top for the what, sampling of maybe 80 people inside here. And we can do this at the end of the day. Um, in the, because you know, we know in the past that there's usually a lot of Java inside here. Um, I put HTML, CSS inside there, but you know, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's cloud native con, so you know, <laughs> who knows? Um, I was, but 
I was, but SQL inside here. I'm scrolling down here. Yeah, we have got a C++. Oh, we got a bit of Kotlin down here as well. Oh, we got some Ruby. Okay. All right. See if we can get about another 10 more or so. It looks like, yep, Java is bubbling to the top. It's Python, JavaScript. I presume as well, I only let you vote for one. So I presume, actually, you probably could vote for two or three some of these times. Um, all right, a little few more trickle in. All right, it looks like, oh, it looks like it's a dead heat then between uh, Java, Go, and uh, .NET C Sharp. All right, and I'll just scroll down here to make representation. Yep, there's C++ inside there. Oh, and other, okay, it's not here. Okay, I bet that's Erlang, yes? <laughs> Whoever did that one. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're an Erlang. But uh, okay, great, so, all right, it's fantastic. So that's, um, Great to see inside, you know, it's always good to see where, you know, where your focus is around these things. So then, um, so if you look at this, I pulled this out just because I was interested the other day. I, I saw app developer, I saw um, GitHub posted their set of programming languages. And it was interesting, the fact that inside GitHub, and they posted this two weeks ago, that Python had crept to the top inside uh, most use language inside GitHub, and then I pulled the Stack Overflow one from earlier in the year, and clearly it's a broader spectrum of developers across all industries, you know, so JavaScript and HTML, you know, bubbles to the top there, but good to see a sampling of our audience. So let's do another poll here. The next question I'm going to ask you is this one is, do you use or plan to use an LLM or AI inside your application? So if I go inside here, so I put this one inside here just because I thought this was another interesting one that we should talk about. Um, in, increasingly, I've seen more and more um, organizations, you know, of course, your, and I'm talking about actually in your application development here, yes? So you may have it as part of your tool chain, but in your deployed applications. Um, and I'm curious of this just because, you know, there's more and more sort of procedural code now that's kind of be, be replaced by the use of models. Um, and so I'm kind of interesting to see where this goes. All right, so it looks like, yeah, we got some in production. Um, looking about some in development, but it looks like mostly people still have no plans to use it for application development. All right. All right. That's interesting. Okay. Thank you. Um, I bring it out just because I think it's a very interesting trend around these things. Um, and I think it's something that we'll increasingly see more and more of um, as we talk about inside um, you know, this, this conference. So with that, you know, I do want to thank our sponsors. Um, you know, these events don't actually happen without our sponsorship, certainly full days events. Um, it's an important part of it. So I do want to say thank you to Heroku um, for being a, a diamond sponsor. I also want to say thank you to both Dagger and Diagrid for being platinum sponsors. I say the support, sponsorship is important in order to lay on these events. So thank you. And outside, those three companies, Heroku, Dagger and Diagrid have booths. So please kind of go up to them, chat, find out more from them. You know, that's, um, they, they've got plenty of people out there can talk to you. So just a little bit of logistics. Um, there'll be lunch inside the forum outside of here afterwards um, in the Hall C. And at the end of all of this, you know, we have drinks and appetizers on the lower concourse. Um, please come and join us. Have a chat with your fellow app developer, um, kind of developers and kind of, kind of come along and socialize with us. And then one thing I want to point out is that these co-located events all have CFPs and we'll be holding them all again inside KubeCon Europe. But unfortunately, there will not be an app developer con in Europe. And you all go, ah. <laughs> and the reason why is because we've actually graduated this track, this co-located event into a full track inside um, KubeCon. So we're actually going to be turning this into a three-day track that's going to happen at KubeCon EU. Uh, which means that we'll be able to have more types of events, we'll be able to have workshops, and I'm generally super excited by this because now we can have even more CFPs submitted. So I greatly encourage all of you to please, 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 if you've only got two weeks, it closes very, very soon on the 24th of, of November, to go in there, submit CFPs for this, because you know, we really want to show the CNCF how important this is to you know, the, the whole of the organization and have a voice with inside it all. Um, and that's the most important part of all this. So with that, I just want to say thank you. Enjoy App Developer Con. And if you want to find, if you want any help at all, come and find me out. I'm more than happy to have a chat with you today. Thank you.